Hey everyone, that guy here, and welcome back to some more Persona 4 Golden. As always, we're continuing where we left off. Why wouldn't we? So last episode, we failed to defeat Contrarian King despite the couple hours of grinding I did. Uh, that was... that was sad. Oh well. Um, since then, I have been told by one of my friends that I can go back at any point I want to fight that enemy. And that after I beat him, there will be a very nice reward waiting for me, depending on where I'm at in the game when I actually go back and fight it. They did recommend I go back as early as possible when I know I'm strong enough to defeat it, so we'll go back whenever I think I'm ready. Which is clearly not yet. Because I would like to see the reward I'd get. I assume it's something like what I got when I went back to the Yosuke area. I assume it's just a really good weapon for the point you're at in the game. I don't know which character would get it, but I, I, that's what I assume. So anyway, let's let's keep going. Uh, what happened? Uh, Nanako ran off to her room because Dojima said that he couldn't get those days off for us to go on a trip. So, what am I meant to do exactly right now? Am I meant to go comfort her? Or... Like, can I just leave? I can just leave. I can just go. Okay. I don't have to see Nanako. I didn't know if I could see Nanako or not. Alright, people spending time with club mates. Eating snacks. Gonna bed studying. Ah, uh, yeah, we have that test coming up, don't we? Yeah, it'd probably be better if I just study at home then. Gotta get that knowledge up while I can. Before midterms, so I don't look like an idiot. Alright, let's, let's study. The test is coming soon. If you get a good score on the test, you may become well-known among your classmates and be more popular. Yes. So I assume I need, like, rank 3 to do well on the first test, right? I assume you don't have to have too high of a thing for the first test you you do. But I, I, obviously you do more tests in the year, so you'd need higher knowledge for when you get to those. I think, I've, I think if I can get to rank 3 intelligence, I should be fine, right? I'm rank 2 right now. Well, we'll see. Whatever. And we get more knowledge. Yay. Triple knowledge, baby. Oh, was it raining? Or was it just... I don't know. Today is Constitution Day, so you have the day off. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. So we, we can't do anything right now regarding the Shadow World till rain and stuff happens, right? Oh, morning. Hello, Nanako. God, your eyes look dead inside. Are you okay? Are, are you doing okay, Nanako? Nanako is watching TV today as usual. Ooh, who's at the door? It sounds like someone's here. Is it one of my friends? It is. It's Chie. Chie came to see you. Oh, she did, did she? Oh, cool. You're home. How do you know where I live? I don't remember telling you I live here, but okay. Hey, if you're free today, want to go somewhere? Yukiko's coming too. You want me to hang out with you? How about you, you Nanako-chan? Want to come? I don't remember her ever meeting Nanako. When did when did she meet Nanako? Then again, they do live in a small village-like area. And in the village I live in, even if you're not friends with people, everybody knows everybody. So maybe it's just one of those types of things where everyone here knows everyone anyway before I came. I don't fucking know. Yeah, come with us. Let's all have fun. Huh? I... Uh, I can come? Of course you can come. Don't you want to have fun hanging out with people? I know we're a lot older than you, but that's fine. Of course you can! 
You decided to take Nanako out along with Chie and the others. She she seems happy, so... Yeah, this is good. I feel like a nice person right now. If only I could be nicer to my brother. That ain't ever happening. <laughs> Alright, so we went to Juna's food court. Obviously, when, when do we hang out anywhere that isn't Juna's? You met up with Yosuke, who's still on the clock, and Yukiko, who finished her work back at the inn. Of course, Yosuke's at work when we see him. Typical Yosuke. Why'd you bring poor Nanako-chan to a place like this on Golden Week? She likes Junes, so it's fine. And aren't you supposed to be working? Where else is there to go? <laughs> She's got a point. There's literally it's just a fucking small village place. This is like the biggest place you could go. I love Juness. Exactly. She's like if she could marry it, she probably would cuz she's a weird child who likes shopping malls. Nanako-chan. But we're supposed to go on a real trip somewhere. Yeah, but you wanted to come here before we all decided about this trip thing. Calm, calm down, girl. You still got one of the things you wanted. We were going to make boxed lunches. Wow, you can make boxed lunches, Nanako-chan? She can do a lot of things. Oh, so you're the family cook? Pretty impressive, big bro. Hey, now. Don't go calling me big bro. That just sounds weird. Alright. Even though literally like in the last episode or a couple episodes ago, I told Nanako to call me big bro. Whatever. Big bro. Oh no, she's actually going to start calling me big bro, isn't she? Chie, what have you done? Whoa, you can cook? Well, you do seem to be great with your hands. Uh, uh never mind. Yosuke, what the f- Alright, it, it's pretty odd not to laugh at that line. It's it's pretty odd not to laugh right now. Holy. Also, Yosuke, I cooked ginger pork for you, you fucking idiot. Of course I can cook. I'm a pretty good cook too, you know. Probably. Probably meaning you haven't actually done it, you're just assuming you're good at it. If you'd asked, I would have whipped up some box lunches! Easy as pie! Yeah! I I don't trust Chie at all when it comes to making food. She she just doesn't seem like the type of girl who could cook, you know? Uh, let me think about... No. <laughs> Alright, pretty blunt there, Yosuke, but... Fair enough. Alright. What makes you think I can't cook? Let's have a cook-off and see for ourselves! My, my, doth the lady protest too much? And hey, I never said I cooked. <laughs> but I have this weird feeling like I'd win anyway. Oh, he thinks he thinks he could win even though he admitted to me he only knows how to make boiled eggs. Don't get ahead of yourself, Yosuke. <laughs> I can understand that. What the? Yukiko! Yo, Yukiko is savage when she wants to be. Here, Nanako-chan can be our judge. I bet we'll make something that ranks up there with your mom's cooking, Nanako-chan. Uh, yeah, she don't have a mom. I don't have a mom. She died in an accident. That just got dark pretty fucking fast. Shit just went zero to a hundred real quick. I see. Um. Sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. She's too sweet and precious. If anybody hurts Nanako, I will hurt them a hundred times worse. Even if I don't have a mom, I have dad with me. You can tell she definitely loves her dad, even though he can't spend time with her like he wish he could. And now I have a brother, too. Please, please stop. I'm not your brother. We're not related like that. Whatever. You can call me Big Bro. Fair enough. You win. And I'm having a lot of fun 
today. I love Juness. Did she just blush when she said she had a brother? Hold on a minute. I yeah? That's good. Yo, Yosuke, calm down. You're a bit too tense right now. I get what you just did, but it's fine. She's cool with it. Just relax. <laughs> we'll play with you anytime you want, Nanako-chan. Yeah, just let the big kids take care of you. God, I wish when I was that young, big kids would be nice to me. Instead, they'd just push you around and be mean. God, the world was horrible even back then, huh? Yeah, we should hang out more often. Come on, Nanako-chan. Let's go get a soda. Is it on you? Okay. She's a strong girl. Yeah, she makes me feel like I'm the little kid here. You kind of are. That's it. I'm gonna go get something for Nanako-chan, too! Everybody just buying her gifts now. I've just been left here on my own, wait a minute. Oh. Do you want something, too? Oh, Nanako, thank you, you came back for me. Nanako gives you a carefree smile. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Nanako. Oh, are we getting social link? Social link with Nanako, yes, let's go! The Nanako bond is here. Which which um which arcana is Nanako then? The Justice Arcana. That that just doesn't That doesn't seem like it'd fit, but okay. I would have thought Dojima would be Justice, you know? Since Dojima is you, you know, an investigator. Whatever, it's fine. She, she's the daughter of the investigator. Sure, it works. Wanna share some takoyaki? Sure, that sounds nice. Though, if I get my way, Yosuke will buy us both some individually. <laughs> you had a fun time with Nanako and your friends. God, I, I miss playing games like this, like, years ago. I need to play more JRPGs and stuff, because they're just so much fucking fun. And even though a lot of it tends to be more heavily based on dialogue and story, that just, it makes it so much better, because I, I just love story-rich games, I guess is what I'm saying. Hey, Nanako, you watching TV? <laughs> Today was fun, huh? At least she's happy now. I'm glad she's happy. You know. Alright, let's go study or something. Maybe. Yeah, we're gonna study. Yes. Let me study. You decided to study. Knowledge went up. As you studied, you read a number of dictionary entries that piqued your interest. Okay, that's why I got three points. I see. That's good. Today is nature day, so you have the day off. What should I do? Ooh, who's calling? Hey, it's me. Oh, what's up, Yosuke? This might be kind of weird to ask after we hung out yesterday, but do you want to hang out again today? I'll see if I can find someone else to come along with us. Uh, let me check your social link stuff. Rank 3. Magician Arcana. I have Jack Frost, we're good. Sure. Oh, yeah! Sweet. Oh, hey. Why don't you bring Nanako-chan with you? Let's all hang out together. You made plans to go out. Very nice. I don't know if my bond is gonna go up with him or not. 
I think my bond's close to going up. Oh, he brought, um, Ko and Daisuke. That's what their names are, right? Ko and Daisuke. Ko, Daisuke, Yosuke, and Nanako. And me. And that guy. Juna's electronics department. Oh yeah, let's hang out in the electronic department of Juna's, because that's a great place for people hang out. <laughs> I can't say shit. I, I legit hung out in town just in a shop with my friend once. We, we literally just went round a shop once to hang out. So yeah, I can't say shit about hanging out in a store. Nanako-chan sure loves this place. <laughs> The first thing out of her mouth when I asked where she wanted to go was Juna's. Who could blame her? This place has everything. It's like a storehouse of magic. I can see why she likes it anyway. Anyways. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I have a younger sister too. I wish she was cute like Nanako Chan. Oh, Jesus Christ. I I'm not cute. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Don't worry, you're not cute. Damn! Yo, Daisuke, that's not very nice. Huh? That's going kind of far. Hey, 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 hey! Are you stupid or something? Did you... Yeah, he's pretty dumb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I gotta say the second option <laughs> Don't flatter me like that I don't think he is Big bro That TV is huge Hey, wanna see me stick my hand through it? I'm, I'm joking I feel like if I watch sports on a TV like this, I'd get sucked into the screen. <laughs> you don't, you don't say. <laughs> Come on, like that could happen. Hey, so wanna see a cool magic trick? It promises to be an entertaining day. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is gonna become sh closer soon. You feel your relationship with Kon Daisuke is gonna become closer soon. Okay. Very nice. So, we didn't get no rank ups, but that's that's cool. Because we got our relationship up with multiple groups. Or something like that. I don't, I don't know. Yes, let's study. We're just going to study all week. Okay, we only got two points today. That's fine. The more points, the better. You have no plans today. You decide to go somewhere you don't usually go. First... The... The... Uh, the shrine. You decide to go to the shrine at the shopping district. There's no one on the premises. The dusty shrine doesn't seem to be well maintained. You decide to go home. Oh, well that was a waste. Oh? Huh? You sent someone watching you. Strange animal. Isn't that just a fox? Yo, that thing just leaped in front of me. A mysterious fox suddenly appears before you. Does it live at the shrine? The fox is staring at you. You notice an Emma plaque in its mouth. The mysterious fox nudges the Emma into your hand. It reads, Please help Grandpa's legs get better. Kata. The Emma has someone's wish written on it. Why did the fox give this to you? Upon closer inspection, you notice an unusually shaped leaf stuck on the back of the Emma. 
You don't recognize this leaf from the local plant life. Is this also the work of the mysterious fox? And it's ran away. Oh, is that the grandpa? Whose legs wanted to get better? Oh, not every day you see young'uns like you around here. Nobody lives here anymore. I came by to tidy f I come by to tidy things up once in a while, but lately my legs are so achy I just can't do it. I've been trying to get this place up to snuff, but there just isn't enough money to go around. Well, I suppose I'll pay my respects. If my legs don't heal, I can't maintain the shrine, that's... And... I won't be able to visit Keita anymore. He's my grandson, you know. I see, so the fox wants me to help this old dude by helping him care for the shrine, I guess. So that grandpa... I don't know, what does he want me to help him do? He definitely wants me to help out though, right? So... Well, we'll figure some out. You wonder if it could be the same Keita who wrote the Emma. The Emma said, please help Grandpa's legs get better. Hmm? What's that you got in your hands there? Could it be that leaf? That's it. Way back when my grandmother always used to say a leaf shaped like that was the best kind of ache remedy out there. Ah, what memories. But how'd you get your hands on this? I didn't think you could find those in the mountains anymore. Please, young man. Can I trouble you to spare me that leaf? You gave the old man the leaf that was stuck on the back of the Emma. Oh, this is it. This is it. Now let's see here. The old man stuck the leaf onto his leg. Oh, I can feel it. It's working. Amazing. The pain I've been feeling for who knows how long. It just up and vanished. Hmm. <laughs> Why? I feel better than I have in years. You really helped me out, young man. I'm so grateful, now I can visit my grandson. I better pay thanks to the shrine for bringing us together like this. He fucking charged off! God damn, he's fast! You marvel at the amazing results. Not only did it heal his aches, it even restored his vitality. Hey, the fox is back. The fox looks on from his hiding place with a contented expression. It seems to understand that the wish on the Emma has been granted. The fox is peering into the offertory box as to check its contents. Check the contents. It even seems to understand that the shrine has received an offering. Perhaps you were given the Emma with the leaf for that express purpose. Yep. So the fox says yip. You heard it here first, folks. We now know what the fox says. Alright, I'm, I'm joking. It seems it has taken a liking to you. It has a mouthful of the same leaves as the one you gave to the old man. It seems the fox has a large stock of mysterious leaves with healing powers. Yip. The fox is looking up. Murfully. Murfully? I've never heard that word in my life. What does that word mean? Yeah, give me a second. I'm actually gonna look up what murfully means. I've I've I have i have genuinely never seen this word before. Or heard of it. Murfully. Full of gladness. Okay. A warm tender. Okay, cool. I learned a new word and its meaning today. Is there something it wants from you? You cannot help but think how strange an encounter this is, as you realize a fox is showing you a pile of leaves. You feel a faint bond forming between you and the fox. wait. There's a fox social link? How the hell do you form a social link with a fox? I mean, alright then. I'll, I'll take it, but what? How, how does that work? The hermit. Alright then. Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna form a bond with an animal because that's, that's how shit works now. Alright then.
Where does it find such amazing leaves? You reflect on how useful it would be to have this kind of help while searching the other side. Yep. Does it understand your thoughts? The fox gestures towards the offertory box. Is it offering its services for a price? Yep. It seems the mysterious fox has agreed to aid you in your search. However, it appears that it will require a fee for its cooperation. You returned the Emma to the shrine and went home. Okay, so it wasn't a wasted trip like I initially thought it was going to be because we made a social link with a fox. It's getting late. You decide to go home. Alright then. Yeah, I can't complain about that. I got a social bond with a the fox. The suspect in yesterday's ATM robbery in northern Inaba was arrested earlier today. The alleged thief is Pomena Sushin, a 26-year-old former employee of the company which reported the stolen vehicle. According to the police investigation, Pomena Sushin was... I'm home. Oh, Dojima's back. Ugh. How many days is he gonna call in sick? These rookies lately sure are... Welcome back! Hey, Nanako's happy. Nanako. I'm sorry I broke my promise again. Oh, um, my big bro and his friends played with me instead. Why is she calling me big bro to her dad? No, that's too much. I see. Thanks. At least he seems to appreciate it. I mean, his, his in-game sprite looks mad as fuck, but let's let's not worry about that. Oh, that's a Juness bag. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> Good eye. Well, today is Children's Day, so I brought you a present. Ah, oh, how nice of Dojima. It took me a while to decide what to get you. You like it? Wow, there's a picture on the front. <laughs> That's so funny. Yay! I got you one too. Not that you're still a child or anything, but fair is fair. Oh, thanks, Dojima. You didn't have to. What'd you get me? It's a swimsuit with an odd design on it. Thank you. Don't mention it. I thought you might need one soon. Oh, you mean I'm gonna go swimming at some point? Hell yeah. Well then, let's eat. Yes, let's eat indeed. Okay. God, that looks like a nice meal. I haven't had food yet today, so I'm probably going to go cook myself something after I've recorded this. Mm, I wonder what I'll have. I don't know what I want to eat yet. Maybe I'll make myself a curry. I don't know, I feel like curry and rice would be nice. Maybe it's just because I saw them eating rice in the game, I don't know. <laughs> you spent a pleasant evening with the Dojimas. And now I can't go outside, or it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna study anyway. We'll save the game first, though. Oh, come on. Go to the bedroom. Don't be rebellious now. Alright, I'm back. Had to take a brief break. The test is coming up, up soon. Yeah, that's right. We was, we were about to study. Yes, study. Okay, let's get back in the flow of things. We got about 40, 50 minutes left. You decide to study. Yay, more knowledge. 
and more knowledge. I don't know if I'll actually reach rank 3 before the test, but I'm trying. I'm fucking trying. Oh, are we back at school? Yo! Yo, what's up, Yosuke? Why are you going slow? Normally you go really fast and crash into shit. Damn it, I just fixed this thing. It's making squeaking sounds again. Maybe you should get a new bike. <laughs> I mean, I literally just said maybe you need a new one. I, I said maybe you should get a new bike, so I'm just gonna go with that. Huh? Yeah. Hey, by the way. What's up, Yosuke? I'm sorry about the other day. You know, about what I said to Nanako-chan. It's fine, dude. I told you, chill out, bro. Chill out, broske. After hanging out with Nanako-chan, I feel even stronger that we have to solve this case. Why's that? We'll do our best, my boy. Yeah. Exactly. You know, Chie and Yukiko seem different lately. They're a lot closer. Maybe it's because we're starting to slowly understand each other's true selves. And we're being more accepting of each other because of it. Oh yeah, I was just curious, but are you... I, never mind, you know, if we keep chatting, we're gonna be late. Okay, let's go then. Man, school's such a chore. And now my bike's messed up too. I would say I feel bad for you, but I know you have money. The roads are much wider here than in the city, so I keep speeding. I guess that did it. Well, maybe you shouldn't be speeding so much then. <sighs> oh well. Until I get my motorcycle license, I'll just have to walk. Why's that? Just buy a new bike. You can't tell me you don't have money, Yosuke. I have seen the amount of money you spend on food for people. Alright, who's coming? It's Broske. What's up? What's going on, Broske? If you've got free time, let's get our grub on. Is anyone else gonna come talk to me? Chie, what's up, girl? Yo. If you have time after school, hang out with me, okay? When I'm not busy after school, you can usually find me on the roof. All right then. I got you. Maybe we'll hang out with Chie. I've been waiting to hang out with Chie for pretty much since we met at the beef ball place. Why do the holidays have to end so fast? I say beef ball place, but you know what I meant. The, um, the shopping district at night that one time. I've been waiting to spend free time with Chie since then. And that was before Yukiko had even, had, the, that was before Yukiko had even recovered. So I think I'll hang out with Chie today. Anyway, why do holidays have to end so fast? That's just life. At least they were peaceful. I mean, you got a point, yeah. I listened in on the housewives gossiping at Juness, but it doesn't seem like anything happened. That's a bit creepy that you're just listening in on people's discussions. And I haven't heard anything about someone disappearing suddenly either. That, that's good though. You think Yukiko could have been the last of the victims? I mean, I doubt this is over. Personally. Hmm. I don't know. But we shouldn't relax as long as the culprit remains at large. I wonder, will someone show up on TV again if it rains? If we only knew a little more about who the killer might be. It's no good fretting over it now. If someone does show up on the Midnight Channel, then we'll deal with it. Exactly. It's supposed to start raining soon, but I hope this weather holds through next week. You know, midterms. Yeah, I get you. Uh, you had to go and bring that up. I don't want to think about it. You have to think about it. <sighs> I wish I had Yukiko's gift for studying. Hey, Yosuke! Why don't you have Yukiko go over some of the material with you? She's only saying that because she knows Yosuke has a crush on Yukiko. Hmm? Oh, that's right. Yukiko's ranked at the top on every exam. 
That, but I, I say that, but Yosuke has a crush on literally every girl he talks to. Can't say I wasn't similar when I was in school. I kind of was. But then again, that's because not many girls talk to me. So the ones that did, I was like, automatically, they're weird enough to talk to me and be my friend. So maybe they would like me too. Uh, <laughs> anyway, bit too personal. Let's let's just keep going with the game. Maybe I should ask her for some private lessons. Hey now, see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You can tell what he's trying to get at. <laughs> private lessons? Maybe he could be your prince charming and run away with you afterwards. I'm I'm joking. Yosuke set any hands on Yukiko and you're not Brosuke anymore. Huh? What's wrong? Oof. Ow! What was that for? I'm just asking you to help me study. You know you have ulterior motives. Deep down. Oh, I'm sorry. You were talking about studying. She just doesn't get the hint sometimes, though. That's, it's, it's hilarious, though, when she misses the point of the conversation. I thought it might have been an off-color joke. Arian has had some strange visitors lately. That makes sense. If you thought it was a joke, then just shrug it off. <laughs> Sorry, my hand moved without thinking. Maybe you should give him a private lesson now to make up for it. Jeez. Thanks a lot, Chi, for bringing up the whole studying thing. W what did I do? <laughs> uh, you're the one who made it sound creepy and wrong. Private lessons, huh? What? Then it's mostly my fault? Come on, Yosuke, this is how women work. It's never the woman's fault. Man up and own up to it. I'm joking, right? We should share the blame equally because everybody's equal or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll shut up before people start hating on me. Oh, now they're arguing. I should start heading home. Okay, goodbye, Yukiko. Though I would like to hang out with you sometime so we can get that social link. Okay, bye. She's gone. Classes have ended. Is it gonna remind me every day that I need to wait for a rainy night? Because I know... I know I've gotta wait for a rainy night. Anyway, let's go up to the roof. Let's go to the roof. Wrong button. Up to the school roof. There she is. Yo! Yo, that cunt. What you doing? What you doing? It seems Chie isn't busy. Since you have Elagor, a persona of the Chariot Arcana, you feel you could become closer. Yes, we will spend time with Chie. Then come with me. Chie looks happy. Okay, cool. Probably something food related. No? Samagawa Riverbank. Hmm. Hmm, this looks like a good spot. You know, for training. Okay, what kind of training? Like, martial art training? I need to own my kicking skills, or I won't be able to use them in battle. <laughs> I tried practicing at home, but my mom and dad yelled at me for putting a hole in the shoji. Okay, I don't know what a shoji is, so this is another thing I'm gonna look up. Still, now's not the time. Now's the time to train, right? Right. Yeah. You think so too? Chie looks really happy. Oh, a shoji is a door, window, or room divider. Okay, I know what they are. I've just never heard the term actually be used. Yeah, they're like really thin. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. 
So, let's train together. I learned a couple new things in this episode. Damn. No. I'm cool with it. Hooray! Yes, thanks, Dakun. Chie looks really happy. That thing, you know, from that time, I mean the shadow that came out of me. I feel pathetic knowing that's another me. Makes me feel like I gotta work harder. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. I always want to change what they're saying, and there's... whatever. Between you and me, we'll be unstoppable. This makes the beginning of your training with Chie. Marks the beginning of your training with Chie. You feel your relationship with Chie has grown a bit deep. Very nice. Rank 2. Do we gain anything new? Rebellion? What's Rebellion? I'll have to check out what Rebellion is. Let's start today with Frog Leaps. Come on, you try some. Laters. You trained with Chie for a while and walked part way home with her. Only part way? You're back. So, you're home. Yeah, what's up, Dojima? You good? Hey! Hey, that. How are things? You should be used to life here now. Let's... Let's save. I don't know if talking to him's gonna use any of my free time or not for the evening, so... Haha, <laughs> you bored? Well, have a seat. So, am I going to form a social link with Dojima by talking to him? Because if I am, then I will gladly do this over studying for this one day. We haven't had time to talk like this since you got here, huh? Dojima is desperately casting about for a topic to discuss. Uh, well, how's school? Eh, uh, it's fun. I see. I see, that's good to hear. Your school days will be over before you know it. Make sure you have fun while you can. Dojima is nodding to himself. What else? Oh yeah, how about your friends? Looks like you've made plenty of them. Dojima is scowling. I'm not saying who you can and can't hang out with, but... You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. Huh, so you did notice. Dojima is nodding. For some reason, wherever there's an incident, there you are. I wish I didn't have to consider this, but the killings began around the time you came to town. My job is all about eliminating the random element. I look only at the facts. If you keep getting caught up in my job, then... What's wrong? Oh no, Nanako's coming over. To be fair, Dojima is slightly suspecting I might be involved in some way. And that's completely fine. It's his job to suspect everything that could be linked. And he's not wrong with the fact that the murders did start occurring very shortly after I came to live with him, so he has to consider that possibility that I could be involved. Makes sense. Big Bro didn't do anything bad. I I know, I didn't mean it like that. But But you're bullying him. I'm not bullying him, we were just having a little talk. It's getting late, go to sleep. Okay. <sighs> Sheesh. She's really taking a shine to you. Look, just don't get yourself involved in anything dangerous. As long as you're safe, everything's fine. Your parents didn't ask me to raise your grades or anything. It seems Dojima is genuinely worried about you. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Dojima. Yes, Dojima social link, let's go. This was well worth not studying. So what are Kana's Dojima then? 
Unfortunately, I don't know which card is which just by seeing the card. I'm not that well versed with this Hierophant. Why the Hierophant? I actually don't know the meaning behind the card, so maybe there's some significant meaning to it being the Hierophant for him. I don't know. Things here might be a little different from what you're used to, but this is a good town. Though it's a little dangerous right at the moment. Now then, it's about time for you to turn in. Get some sleep. Night. Night. You said goodnight to Dojima and went to your room. Oh, it's raining. Only for the day, though. You overhear students talking. All this rain? I hate rain. It's supposed to keep raining until this evening, too. Speaking of misery, midterms start next Monday. They even post the results up for everyone to see. Oh, don't worry about it. Your life isn't going to be ruined by one little piece of paper, is it? What? How can you possibly believe that? Getting good grades has benefits when interacting with people. Talented people really are hi more highly valued in society, aren't they? Bappy Pass. I think it said Bappy Pass and that's just funny as hell. Aw, oh, not this guy. Mr. Hosoi, have you picked up the latest edition of Bully Teacher yet? Of course I did, but it's raining today. I hope I can get it home without it without getting it all wet. So, uh, does anyone have an extra book cover they'd be kind enough to lend me? Whoops, I have to start the lecture. Don't try to distract me by talking about books. Today we're going to discuss Kokoro by Sosaki Natsumi. Open your textbooks. Before we get to the actual literature, literature I'll ask you a question about Sosaki himself. Hmm, how about Gai-chan, the city boy? Gai-chan? Do you know how Sosaki Natsume translated the English phrase, I love you, into Japanese? Um. Uh, what? I... It's either going to be very straightforward, or it's just going to be the most out there option there is, right? <laughs> Let's just go with the bottom. I, I genuinely don't know. Like pretty much every question this game throws at me, I don't know. Oh, you're very knowledgeable. Yep, he translated it as, the moon, the moon is beautiful, isn't it? The only reason I clicked that is because it was the most... just different type of answer there was out of the four options. And in a lot of anime, they seem to mention the moon being beautiful when a guy and a girl is hanging out together. One good example would be when I watched Love is War Season 2 recently. Good show. You know, they sit and they stargaze and they look at the moon and they say stuff about the moon being beautiful. I, I don't know, it just... yeah. I'm trying to explain my reasoning behind my option even though my, I thought my option could have been wrong. So... Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's keep going and find out more info about this then. By the way, the person who translated it as I could die was Shime... Futabate? Futabate? Alright, there we go. I got that completely right. Another prominent Meiji era writer. Although he translated it from Russian, not English, it's still similar in that they didn't do direct translations. Back then in Japan, there wasn't the same direct expression of love that we have now, so they had to get creative. 
It's a subtle, endearing translation, much like the Japanese language itself. Anyway, let's get back into Kokoro. Correct answer, let's go, more knowledge. Gotta get that knowledge where you can. You hear thunder rumbling. Hey Chie, I bought you a new copy of that Trial of the Dragon flick. It was the greatest punches version for 980 yen. If I knew then, I'd have just replaced it instead of buying you grilled steak. This is clearly getting closer. Huh? What are you, scared of a little lightning? Quiet, you! I'd be a goner if even one of those things hit me. You'll be fine, they're not gonna hit you. Who would have thought Chie of all people would be scared of lightning? <laughs> you're freaking out way too much. Yosuke, if you don't calm down, you're gonna get yourself punched. I'm just warning you. Come on, shouldn't weather like this help with your kung fu training? Yosuke, you are really pushing it right now. A bolt of lightning would hit and it'd give you the inspiration for a new move. There was a scene like that in your DVD, wasn't there? You jerk! You don't even care how I feel! If lightning has to strike someone, let it be this guy! <laughs> Oof. Huh? Is this a blackout? Well, it just took out the school power supply. God damn. That's what you get for saying that stuff, Chie. Looks like I better hurry up and head to work. Depending on how produce sells today, I might get a little bonus in my pay for the week. Why do you have to work at your dad's business. Well, I mean, your dad's just the manager of the store, but still, why do you have to work there to make money? This, y Your family is an asshole. And they should just give you money. I'm joking. It's good to have a positive work ethic, even though I don't work. Let's keep going before I get sad about never working a day in my life so far. This weather may keep customers away, but I gotta do my best if I'm gonna save up for a motorcycle. You're dreaming big for somebody who buys people steak very regularly. It's from my manager. Hello? Uh, Yosuke-kun? Hmm. Uh, some of the power in the store is out after that lightning strike. C could you come in early today? All the refrigerated shelves have stopped running. It's looking like we'll have to close up the produce section early today. Wait, what? But my pay! Anyway, I need you here to help deal with this mess. I'm counting on you! Goodbye! Wait! What are you looking at me for? <laughs> uh, why did this have to happen? Hey, Yukiko! Can we just go home? Chie, do you know this story? Is she gonna start telling scary stories? A girl forgot her homework, so she snuck into school in the middle of the she night. She totally is. But she suddenly needed to use the bathroom. She ventured into the girl's room where all the lights were off. No one should have been there, but in the mirror... Hold it right there! What are you talking about?! Huh? It's a ghost story. I thought you liked them. <laughs> Chie's on the verge of tears, what should you do? Tell her another ghost story. Lightly tap Chie's back or comfort her. Um, I'm pretty sure telling her another ghost story is going to get you punched. Or make her cry, or both. I'm pretty sure lightly tapping her is definitely going to get you punched, because that's just going to scare the shit out of her. So, let's just go with the bottom one. Thanks. I'm glad you're here. You're welcome, Chie. I've got you. <sighs> Why don't you just have him escort you back home, Chie? Hey, that could work. Uh, are you making fun of me? Well, yeah. With how freaked out you are, can you blame me? Hey, the lights are back. Oh, the power's back! Come on, Yukiko, let's go home! What about me? I was the one who just comforted you.
Classes have ended. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. Why do we have to wait for another rainy night? Is it because we didn't tell everybody we're going to look at it, or is it because it's thunderstorming? I don't know. Hey, what's up? Yo. Hey, that. Not much to do before the tests without practice, huh? Yeah, that's right. We can't hang out with you people right now. Who can I hang out with? Anyone? Studied or went home or went to the TV or ate food. Or capsule machine. I don't even know where that is. Anyway, studying is a great idea because it's raining so we should get extra knowledge for it, right? Where's the library? I don't know where I'm going. It's down this end of the corridor, isn't it? Knowing me, I'm running around and I can just quick travel there or something. I don't know. But yeah, we'll make up for the studying we missed by talking to Dojima at night. Yasagami High Library. Knowledge up. Yes, we're expert. We ranked up our knowledge. Brilliant. You studied while the pouring rain and crashing thunder blocked out all distracting noise. And we get the extra points from reading the book. Perfect. Welcome home. Thank you, Nanako. I love it when you welcome me back. It stopped raining, but the thunder was loud. Were you scared, big bro? Nah, I'm good. Oh, can I hang out with you? Well, I mean, I'm not studying anymore, because I think rank 3 should be high enough, and I'm definitely not going to get to rank 4 before the midterms anyway. I am... How do I actually check that? Is it my status? No, that just tells me my level and shit. Oh yeah, that's why I was going to check something Persona-related, weren't I? No, wait, I was going to check... Chie. Her Persona. Increases critical rate. I see. Uh, what else? Social links. We have investigation team. Yosuke. Dojima. Fox. Which is just Fox. Nanako. Your cousin and Dojima's daughter, she's in the first grade. Um, how old are people in the first grade? Um... Yes? Nanako looks as if she's not doing anything. You feel your relationship with Nanako isn't ready to advance yet. Will you spend the evening with Nanako? No. I see. Nanako looks a bit sad. Don't worry about it, Nanako. I'm just, um... Thinking. Yes. What was her thing again? She's Justice. I need a Justice Persona. Because I don't have any, do I? I don't think. I do not. So maybe we should go get one. A lot of people spend time with Nanako, though. Let's go out and explore the town a little bit, though. Just because there might be stuff we can do. Maybe. There might be something we can do somewhere. The shopping district. Alright, let's have a little look round. In fact, shouldn't I try and get myself a job too? Where was the thing to get a job at? The bulletin board, I don't remember. Uh, well let's go here, because I wanted to get a Justice Persona anyway. Or try to. 
Oh, there's the note thing from Marie again. Yeah, this happened back when I was recording the last episode, but like... During my grinding session when I came in here? Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. There's a piece of paper on the floor. Come to think of it, the last paper you found here belonged to Marie. Something is written on it in cute handwriting. Seafoam. Listen to my voice. My shouting, bellowing voice. Here I am, pouring my blood into my words, yelling at the very edge of the world. I am the little mermaid, unable to return. The little mermaid, faded to foam. The little mermaid. This appears to be a poem. Her sense of poetry is difficult to comment on. What? D did you read it? You read it, didn't you? I said no. No, it's not like that. It's a, it's not a poem. Yeah. I'm yelling at the edge of the world that this is not a poem. I don't know what I'm saying. Words are just coming out. I... Stupid, I hate you, jerk. I can't believe this. Don't read my things. Marie Be- God fucking damn it. Marie blushes furiously. It would seem that Marie was the author of the poem you just read. But why was it on the floor? I don't get it. Marie sulkily returns to her seat. Alright. Last time, we didn't actually get to read that, so at least you get the important part of it, I guess. Can we do a fusion? Not with you. We can make an Archangel with a Sandman and Orobos. But we already have Archangel in our thing, so what's the point? Well, it's not like I have to register it. Right? Yeah, it's not like I have to register this one. I don't have to register the persona. I just have to remember not to put him in the compendium, because I don't want to overwrite the one I already have. I mean, it doesn't matter if I do, because I'm probably not going to refuse it anyway. Well, summon it again, I guess. I'm probably not going to summon the one I already have in the compendium again. But, I'm still not going to overwrite it if I can help it. Alright, cool. We have Archangel. And then we could use Archangel in this to fuse that at some point, which I might do. Can also fuse this. Which I don't want to do right now. Alright, let's leave. I just wanted to get a Justice Persona. Because it'll help when I hang out with Nanako. I can't go here yet, can I? Because it'll be closed. Yeah. Can I go to vending machine? I don't want those drinks. In fact, what's this store? Pub? Can I go in the pub? I can. Ah, welcome. I turn my store into a nightclub once normal business hours are over. Have I met you before during the day? Well, that doesn't matter. This is a nocturnal oasis where adults can escape their daily lives and gather in search of a moment of peace. And I am a butterfly of the night, adorned with gems who flutters down to bask in the oasis glow. Everything you see and hear here is only a dream. It's a no-no to drag what happens here into the light of day, remember that. 
Now, I'm sure you understand that this is no place for a child like you, it's time for you to go home. Hey, wait a second. What's that? You seem to have something quite impressive with you. Those beautiful shining stones, of course. Won't you trade them with me? What stones? Oh, you mean the gems I found in the dungeon. And I can use them to make weapons and shit? That's pretty cool. Oh, I like this. Oh, I like the idea of this. Okay. Well, now I know I can go there at night and I can actually trade gems for weapons. That is very good info to have right now. There's not a lot of places open in this town, is there? I wonder if more places will open up later on or not. Hello. Just so as you know, I'm not wandering around at random, I'm on patrol. I'm still fit as a fiddle, after all. Even my wife says so. Fit to do what? I was a police officer for 40 years. I gave my life to the Inaba PD. I won't let anyone get up to shenanigans in Inaba as long as I'm alive. Okay, you, you enjoy yourself then, old man. I'm just gonna go buy some Dr. Salt Neos. Don't mind me. Just casually buying out the entire stock of drinks. For no apparent reason. Because I'm not probably not gonna use them. And if I do, they'll probably be the last thing I use. Be nice if I could get a free one. Alright, we're done. Oh, was that a shooting star? That was beautiful. What else can we do at night? Not a lot, huh? That's a bus stop. Actually, yeah, where is this bulletin board at? Maybe you can't see it at night. Or maybe I'm looking in the wrong area. I don't know. Maybe we'll just go back home and hang out with Nanako. Oh wait, Tom Bulletin here. Which one do you want? Um, which one do I need? See others? There's a lot of jobs. Envelope constructor. You get yen and it raises diligence. Some knowledge required. Perfect for raising expression. Okay. And what about crane folding? Voluntary work. No. And then what was on the other page? Day thingy. Assistant day care caretaker. 4,000 plus yen on Monday, Friday, and Saturday when it's not raining. And you get understanding. Sure. Take the bus in the shopping district to the hill overlooking town if it's not raining on Monday, Friday, or Saturday. I assume you can take, like, all of the jobs and just do them whenever you want, as long as you have the correct requirements to take the job. But we'll just, we'll leave it at one for now. And... We'll see what jobs have to offer us at some point in the game. Because if it's anything like when I did my playthrough of Persona 5, jobs will be important to accomplish some goals in the game. 
Alright, hi Nanako, let's hang out. Yeah, I'll spend time with you. Even though I can't advance my social link, which... I'd rather only hang out with people when I can, but sometimes you have to hang out with them to get them to that point, so... I'll accept it. At least she's happy. You spend precious moment. You spend a precious moment with Nanako. And we're gonna bond soon. Level 2 Nanako coming sooner than later. Today's a Sunday, so you don't have to go to school. You wonder when it'll rain again. Your first midterm starts tomorrow. Ooh, we're getting cold. Oh, hello? It's me, Chie. What's up, Chie? Would you mind hanging out with me for a while a day? I need to get my mind off of studying for a bit. I don't know about that. I don't know if I want to hang out with you or not, Chie. I'll pass. Okay. Sorry I bothered you, see you at school. Well, hopefully I didn't screw that up. I just didn't want to commit to it. Yosuke and Marie. That's what people did. Was Yosuke and Marie. And some people just went straight home. Cause, New Game Plus. Alright, well let's... Let's go out. Go out where? I don't know. Oh, hello. Hey, listen to this. It's horrible. My mother-in-law said my cooking isn't edible. That's what she says to me. Even though I've been trying my hardest day after day after day. I don't know if I said too many day after days, but we're going with it. Here, this is something I brought to my mother-in-law's house. Would you try it for me? I'll try it. You consider eating it, but it doesn't look very edible. Really? I can't even get you to try it. Fine then, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. I'll eat it all by myself. My fish back at home loves this stuff, you know. How strange. Uh, yeah, you, you do you, lady. I don't know where to go. Junez, wouldn't Yosuke be the type of guy to be at Junez? Tiny Soul Tomatoes? Yeah, gimme. Oh, wait, before we do that, I wanna. I wanna actually go into town. I wanna go to, um. the. um. Daidara. The steelwork dude. I also want to check out the bookstore and see if there's any new books. Off today. What's it about? The bullied teacher volume one. Reading it may increase understanding. Sure, give me. Office work manual. Reading. Finish reading to help increase diligence more when making envelopes. I'll buy it, but I don't know if I'm ever going to work that job. I guess I should work that job if it's going to give me even more diligence for doing it after I read the book. I'll consider it. Congratulations, game. You possibly convinced me to do that job now. Have you come to see my art? Please take a look around. Please look around. Take your time. Yeah, I just want to sell you some shit. All of this stuff. I have a lot of material. 29,000 yen for my material. Alright, now we're gonna wait for him doing this. Five iron has been added to the list of items. 
kunai. Ah, he, he, we can buy some kunai now. Poison kunai. I missed the name of one of them, but I think it was a chi I am. Kevlar vest? Survival guard? Lion happy? Charm robe? Lucky coin? And that's all. Alright, well, let's see what we can buy for me. I mean, you know, it's better. Is this one even better, though? 78 and 98, plus 3 agility. I see. And this one is stronger, okay. So the order you unlock items in doesn't necessarily go in the order of how strong they are. That's interesting, good to know. Alright, let's go back to Yosuke now. I just wanted to make sure I sold my stuff to Daidara before I forgot. And now I'm yeah. loaded. Yo, that, if you're free, wanna go somewhere? Since you have Jack Frost, you could get closer. Oh, we're gonna get closer with him soon anyway, so yeah, let's spend time with Yosuke. All right. Rank 4, let's go. Yosuke looks happy. Good. We'll see how quickly we can get Yosuke to rank 10. I like Yosuke, so I'm probably gonna max him out. I'll try and max out as many as I can anyway, but I know I won't be able to get all of them. You came with Yosuke for a quick bite to eat. Hanging out with you here every so often isn't that bad. Even if we're short on cash, we can get a little discount here. Um, who's short on cash? I have like 70,000 yen. Actually, how much is that? Is that a lot of money? I don't know. I'm not Japanese, so I won't know how much yen is a lot. Though, there's a small price to pay in exchange for that. Oh, there you are, Hanamura. <sighs> for example... Hello there, senpai. What's wrong today? You better say something to that blockhead manager. I told him I can't come in on Saturdays or Sundays. But he's saying I have to be here since we're law on staff. And if I don't, he'll fire me. Isn't there some kind of law against that? Uh, but didn't you guys say you could work weekends during your interviews? Well, yeah. They wouldn't hire us if we didn't. Alright, I got it. I'll try talking with him. But you don't want to get fired, right? It'd make it easier for me to strike a deal if you could show up every now and then on weekends. We'll think about it. You better do it, Kay. Yosuke, just let them lose their fucking jobs. They don't deserve to have a job if they're not willing to work. Oh, Yosuke-kun. Just the man I was looking for. Oh, hi. Hear me out. Remember that claim I had the other day? Well, the head butcher said... Alright, alright. Let's talk over there. Sorry. Sorry, that. Could you give me a minute? Yosuke went to listen to the employee. <sighs> Phew, I'm beat. I'm not the complaints department. I mean, you, you are incredible. You're taking on the responsibility of so much stuff and... There's no reason why you would have to take on such responsibilities. Hey dude, it's nothing but trouble. Yosuke smiles sheepishly. I knew that'd be the right option. He loves being praised above everything. Jeez, everyone's just trying to take advantage of me as the Junez kid. 
Maybe I wouldn't mind if I was fr if it. Maybe I wouldn't mind if I was free. But we have the murders to deal with. I don't have time for this. Can the police really handle the killer? Can the law really convict whoever's behind this? Once I started worrying about that stuff, I knew I couldn't bother with anything else. I have to do what I can. Hey, you- Hey, don't get carried away. You make me feel like I said something crazy. Yosuke is taken aback. Well, I hope that was a good thing. I was just trying to, like, support him and egg him on even more. I don't know. Haha, <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking about serious stuff like this. Before I moved here, it was, a sm it was all small talk. Stupid, trivial things. I thought that was fine. It's only with you guys that I talk seriously like this. I don't know why, but I feel like I don't have to lie. Especially with you. You've already seen the worst of me and all. But well, thinking about it now, if someone had to see that, I'm glad it was you. Thanks. It's a bit late now, but thanks for going with me that time. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. Here we go. Rank 4. Almost halfway there. Almost. Ooh, what what we got now? Dekaja. New skill. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. All right. All right. I'll see if I can get a deal with the guy at the counter, and try out the meat lovers combo. See you later. You hung around the food court with Yosuke before going home. All right. That was a good way to spend my day. Hmm. What's up, Nanako? Nanako seems to be lost in thought. Let's ask her what's wrong. You ask her what's wrong. Um, well... Nanako fidgets. I made flowers at school yesterday. They said today is Mother's Day. My teacher told us that's a day when you give your mom flowers. Aww. That's so sad because she doesn't have a mother, so she can't give her mom flowers. Aw, oh, Nanako, you poor thing. I don't have a mom, so I don't know what to do with these flowers. Maybe give them to Dojima instead. Give them to your dad. Nanako seems upset. Let's give them to your dad. Huh? But it's Mother's Day! Is it okay to give them to dad? Sure it is. Okay, then I'll give them to him. Yeah, there you go. Um, I did a really good job. My teacher said they were pretty. That's good. <laughs> I wonder if dad will be happy to get them. I'm sure he'll understand, regardless. Nanako seems happy. You should make a flower too, big bro. I should. Then we can celebrate Mother's Day together. I was going to make a comment and then I realized how horrible it would sound, so I'm, I'm just not going to say it. It's a comment on the character in the game, though, not real life me. Nanako taught you how to make an origami flower. We did it! Is it origami or... No, it's probably origami. I've heard it be called origami before and that just doesn't sound right. We did it. Yep, we did. You place the finished flowers on the table along with a letter to Dojima. It's getting late, so you put Nanako to bed and head back to your room. I wonder if that has an influence on anything in the game at all. So, can I do anything this evening, or am I forced to sleep? I 
I can definitely study if I want. Oh, I can just leave the bedroom anyway. <laughs> oh, Dojima's here. Well, I'm gonna save so we can end the episode here. Yep, that's it. We're, we're, we're ending here, so... If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Persona 4 and other ga gaming related content. I play games daily, and with that, I'll see you all next time, so goodbye, guys.